Hey everyone. So I was asked in one of the wreath makers group that I belong to by a couple of different people to show them or give them instructions on how I made my nautical themed <clears throat> door hanger, wall hanger, wreath, whatever you want to call that. So the wreath frame, the wire wreath frame is from the Dollar Tree um, or Dollar 25 Tree, whatever you want to call that. The base, the bottom of the anchor, right here, you can see that. I've taken um, pictures of each step. So I'm going to create a montage of those pictures so that you can see step by step what this process is that I used. It's basically like a, I don't know, what I would call a weaving or a crochet kind of pattern, really. Macrame, I mean, you you call it what you want. I, I just did it off the top of my head and it I wanted to see what it would look like instead of just wrapping because you can just wrap, but I didn't want to just wrap. I wanted to do something, create something that had depth to it and character, right? instead of just one dimensional. So in a minute, I'm gonna move the my makeshift video camera, <laughs> my phone, um, so that you can see my hands in motion and see what I do. But before I do that, I just wanted to tell you that, see, or I just wanted to show you. See the bridge right here? I'll see if you can see it this way, the bridge, right? It bridges both of the outer wire, um, pieces of the wire base. Well, there's one right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's right here. So instead of following this weaving pattern, which I'm gonna show you in just a minute, what I do when I come to one of those bridges is I do, I put a little bit of glue and I, I actually use Gorilla Hot Glue. It's the best stuff that I found out there. Um, it works the best. It holds great in all kinds of weather. I live in Buffalo, New York. It, the weather is, you know, diabolical here. It can be 95% humidity um, or minus 10 degrees, and it's it holds up. So anyway, so what I do, oops, it just came off a little bit. I didn't put enough here. You can actually feel it. There's none there. So my hot glue gun's hot. Good. So I'll show you. See right there. Right. So I'm just going to cover that and do one fell swoop around it. And you'll understand why, as opposed to going through um, weaving in and out each, each individual piece of the, the frame. So let's get this glued on again. I'm going to need my glasses because... 60 years old and can't see near. All right, so. And all I did was, oh, it wasn't even in the frame, sorry guys. All right, I'm gonna move to, there we go. All I did was put it on that bridge and then I'm just gonna hold it for a minute just to give it time to set. And then we'll move on to what I did for weaving it. Now, you might have a better process than mine. Um, I basically, di I didn't follow, I didn't basically, I didn't follow any instructions. Um, so what I did was one night after work, Came home, got the idea. You know how you get the picture in your head? So the picture came to me and I'm like, all right, let me let me go in and play with it. And it took me well over an hour because what I thought would work didn't work. So I had to take everything out, take the, you know, it's a thick jute rope, a fake nautical rope really is what it is. Take it all out, start again and figure it out. But once I got about halfway done or close to halfway done, I had it figured out. 
So um, that's when I posted it, and I was actually looking for um, some input on the design. And I had a few people, a handful of people ask me, you know, can you show me how to do that? So here we are. But I think that's good enough for now, All right? So we did one full wrap around the entire base. And it's set pretty good. So next, what I'm gonna do, and now I'm gonna move this down, guys. Hopefully you can see it. So now my next move is to take the jute and put it underneath this one wrap on the outer edge. See? So it's one circle. Then I'm gonna go to the middle, do one wrap around. I hope you guys can see this. See? Now I'm gonna to move to the outer edge. And with the outer edge, I'm going to, again, do one wrap around. So you've got a full circle. And at this point, I'm gonna go all the way back and come back through the other outer edge and start the process again. See? Now we're just gonna start it all over again. So we'll go through the middle. One wrap around, go to the other outer edge. We're gonna do one wrap around and this is where it gets a little bit tricky, guys. Not Maybe not tricky, but you know, your pattern shifts. So instead of going back through the outer edge to the middle, the middle to the other outer edge, we're gonna wrap it around one full length around the entire back of the frame. And then we're gonna start again. We're gonna wrap, one little wrap. Go to the middle. Wrap, go to the other outer edge, wrap once, pull through, all the way to the back again, and then start the process again. So that's what I did throughout the whole base of the anchor. Now you're gonna see where some wire is still showing here and here, which is fine because I ran out of rope and when I'm completely done weaving the frame, what I'm gonna do is go back in and wrap those edges. That's all, it's real simple. So here's a wrapped edge that's finished. Here's an unwrapped edge that is going to be finished, but it's going to look like this. Can't see it on this side because I ran out even quicker and I don't know why, probably had to do with the way, how tight I wrapped it. And then I'm just gonna wrap it all the way through on um, that side as well. When I get to the top, here, what I'm gonna do, and I'll, I'll take a short little video of that, is I've decided, and I'll grab it. Let me just get up and grab it. I've decided I don't wanna use like a bow or a ribbon. I feel like I did a red ribbon on the last one and I feel like it, it wasn't complicated, but I feel like with the nautical design, and this is just my creative eye, everybody's got a different one. I feel like less is best. Um, one of the, one of my colleagues in one of the groups, and I can't remember which one, had actually mentioned, you know, I like it, it's great, um, but I would do it a little bit different. I would make it as simple as possible. So I still wanna make this pop, 
So what I'm gonna try to do, what I'm going to do, I should say, is I'm either going to wrap this in its entirety and just wrap all the way around and see what that looks like. Just a basic wrap. I'm going to, if I don't, I'm also, whether I like it or not, I also want to see this. I'm going to do a weaving pattern very similar to this. See how that looks on the top. Um, or another idea, which is kind of cute. I'm going to have to fix this, actually. is just to hot glue it all the way around. And the reason I like this idea is because underneath here, the wire or underneath the um, jute rope, um, the base is black. So it'll add an extra dimension if I choose to just hot glue it all the way around. So you'll have the nautical, you know, the fake nautical rope, the jute here, and then on the top, if I don't weave it, it will still have an extra added dimension to it and it have some depth to it because the base color, the color of the base is black. So I hope that makes sense. I know it, to me, you know, in my mind and how you say it, sometimes it doesn't come across, but those are the ideas. Um, when you get to the middle section, um, and maybe I'll do another short video on that, but I just wanted to get this one up. Um, you're going to create a cross pattern here to weave in and out on each end. So far, I have a dollar twenty-five. This might have been a dollar. This might have been before it went up to a dollar twenty-five in my area. Either way, it was a dollar or a dollar twenty-five. I have one. Let me grab it actually. One, two, and this is my third nautical rope from Floral Garden. Um, it's the jute rope. It's the thick one. There is eight feet. Oh, geez, there used to be nine, so that now there's less. There's one less foot. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. Um, so one, two, three, and then I believe I used two more, so that makes five, five of these, sorry about the light, let me see if I can get it that way, five of these, the, um, the fake nautical jute rope, one base, and whatever I decide to do here, but I won't use more than five of the nautical jute rope to do the entire, um, anchor base, the wire anchor base. Um, that's going to be it for now. I just want to get this posted so you get an idea. I did the same pattern that I did here. I worked on the bottom. I started, you can either start in the middle, um, which I like to do because, as you can see, I started with one wrap around the middle right here. That was my start. And I glued it to the back, because there is a bridge, I call it a bridge, a connector between the outer rim, the middle rim that connects to the other outer kind of inner rim here on the base. So what I did was just, let me see if I can count it. One, two, three, four, five. So one in the middle, I did one full wrap in the middle, glued it on the back, and then two wraps on each side for a total of five full wraps between the outer rim into the middle rim. I hope that makes sense to you guys. So here we are so far. When I get to the middle, well maybe I'll just do it now. I just, I can't remember guys. It's been a few days and I'm not exactly sure what I did, but maybe I'll just, Keep you along for the ride here and see. We can we can learn together. Oh, 
I'm just going to continue wrapping. I'm going to go through the middle. Do a wrap. So we're coming close to the middle, and I feel like I'm trying to remember exactly what I did, but we'll get there. So we're going to do one full wrap on the last. And then I'm going to just put a dab of glue on this to hold it. See? Instead of weaving through each side, the middle, you know, each outer edge in the middle, I'm doing on the last one when you get this close, like you've only got this much space, and you can see it just, it really fits the rope. So I'm going to do one full, and I'm going to close it off there and glue that. That's a, what I'm going to do. Glue, little dab of glue. Gonna hold that in place. <laughs> you guys have all been there, you know that. You know the process, you know how to do this. Just give it, I should have put my fan on. I'm trying to remember right now what I did for You know, I definitely want to do a cross, but I'll take you with me. We'll figure it out together. I'm just gonna let that sit. I'm gonna grab my scissors. You can also, which I did with the other one, just because I had things I was trying, I was doing multiple things. If you wanna put that on there, you know, little clip to kind of hold it. I'm going to save this because I'm going to use this to finish up here. Why waste it, right? And I've got a couple other pieces, so it just makes sense for me. That's good. All right. I don't typically use my scissors to do this. I don't feel like getting up to get my wire cutters. So I'm using my scissors. Okay. Yeah, this used to be, I don't know if you guys remember, but um, I had a big stash of it that I bought last year or the year before. Um, I think I bought like 20 of them um, just because I used them for so many different projects. But um, th this used to be nine feet and now it's down to, what did I say? One whole foot. You see that? You see that? Eight feet. And a quarter more expensive. Plus, I don't know if that's in all areas or not, but I feel like that was, that it went, the prices rose in all areas. I'm trying to remember here, guys, so bear with me. What I'm going to start off doing in my mind right now, I'm going to, what I would do is glue this. I won't do it now, but let me see if this works. Hmm. That's not going to, I don't think that that's going to do what I want it to do. Let's see. I'm still going to pull that in, which is not what I want. So. So let me this one. Tie. One wrap around. One wrap around. This might actually work. 
This is basically what I did the first time I put it together. Was like figured it out as I went, and if it didn't look right, then I just took everything out and started all over again. And this is what this will work. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I did the same basic pattern. I did one full wrap here. That's my starter. And I'll take it out to show you again. I gotta glue it anyway, so might as well, right? Make it simple. All right, so I'm going to, and I'm actually going to use that. Hope you guys can see. Like you need to look less at me and more at what I'm doing. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue this here and here. And get my handy dandy hot glue gun. And then glue it on the other side. Let me grab another tension. So I'm just going to wait